A well, prominent country music artist and bronc rider making his debut at the Grand Ole Opry in April, and he is making his way to Sioux Falls very shortly, too. Chancey Williams joining us, talking about uh, his performance before we get ready for that. So, Chancey, you're a, a, a bronc rider, I guess probably former bronc rider, but more so prominently a country star artist. Can you kind of tell us about what eventually led the bronc riding, what led to that being a country music star, essentially? Well, like, you know, I grew up on a ranch in the northeast corner of Wyoming, so I grew up ranching and, and rodeo, and so went to college to rodeo and loved riding saddle broncs and thought I would do it for a long time and kind of always had a band that in you know, on the back burner just for fun. And toward the end of my bronc riding career, I ended up was playing music a lot more than I was rodeo, and so kind of decided, to, you know, I had to make a decision that point in my life saying, well, I think I can sing a lot longer than I can rodeo, so I chose to do music. And is there still any semblance of rodeo that plays a part in your life at all, or is for the most part country's kind of, I guess, taken all of your attention, per se? Well, you know, with our, with my background and stuff, you know, we end up, we end up playing a lot of rodeos throughout the year. We've played most of the big ones, and a lot of the songs I write are kind of, you know, focused on rodeo and ranching and western way of life. So I, I guess rodeo still has a big impact on my life. I just don't really compete anymore. But still, when we go home, you know, go home to the ranch and stuff, still do typical ranch work and stuff. But like all the songs I write and sing about is revolves around rodeo. So. <laughs> and you do have a new album that came out uh, this year, one of those days. Are there some tracks there that speak to you? I made it maybe about halfway through, but so far sounds really good. Are there some tracks that you really love with it? Or any messages that resonate through this album? Yeah, I mean, I wrote a, a 11 of the 12 songs on there with some friends. And uh, so, I mean, I, I kind of try to stay in my lane when it comes to songwriting. You know, I don't sing about stuff I don't really know about. So a lot of those songs on the One of These Days album are just, you know, life experiences and stuff. You know, there's a song on there called Land of the Buffalo. It's kind of about people moving out west, and, you know, after coronavirus and uh you know, shows like Yellowstone and stuff coming out. Everybody seems to be moving out to where we live. So it's kind of a song about that. And uh, yeah, there's just a lot of a lot of fun songs on there. There's, you know, some stuff that aren't about Cowboys, too. So it's a it's a real fun album. We're excited about it. Well, thank you again for your time. And it's a pleasure to get to speak with you. Looking forward to seeing you here in Sioux Falls pretty soon. Yeah, thanks for having me on. We, we always love playing South Dakota and can't wait to see everybody in Sioux Falls. Likewise. Thank you so much, sir. We'll be right back after this.